Hello friends, let us now learn some, some important points about one more disorder, one more procedure that is excretion picturating cystourethrography. This excretion picturating cystourethrography means first and foremost you do a micturating cystourethrography followed by intravenous urogram. The main advantage of this excretion micturating cystourethrography is that this will, that means, sorry, it is reversed. First, you will do an intravenous urogram. And then, using the same contrast, you will ask the patient to micturate. So, thus, there is micturating cystourethrography. So, advantages is there is no catheterization. We will have to catheterize the bladder in order to do micturating cystourethrography. So this physical and psychological trauma of catheterization is not there. There is no side effect of infection also because if the catheter is not sterile or in during the procedure, there, there can be a chance that the infection can reach the bladder directly through the catheter due to urethral catheterization. So this is also not there. And this advantage is it is a physiological procedure also because you are in injecting the contrast through the intravenous system and then you will do intravenous pyelography followed by micturating cystourethrography. So it is a physiological procedure. What are the disadvantages? Disadvantages, main disadvantage is the visualization is not sufficient. It is not adequate. Number two, intravenous pyelography itself takes 35 minutes and micturating cystourethrography also takes more time. So obviously it takes longer time than just micturating cystourethrography. Vesicourethric reflex is not visualized properly also. So vesicourethral reflex is also not visualized. So these are the side effects of uh, excretion micturating cystourethrography. Thank you.